I've chosen this deliberately because you'll see from the film itself the housing crisis that was being confronted then and it's what we've got at the moment in this constituency and right the way across London. Homelessness was an issue, it was becoming an issue. We went through the different stages that families went through when they became homeless, starting in hostels and ending up in what was then the notorious Part 3 accommodation, which might be in a, in a hall like this with cardboard partitions, and in between each partition was a family. quite heartening was that in the film there was actually it was really clear that there wasn't any question of immigrants having a role to play in these aspects of the crisis. Obviously at the moment with UKIP um, that's drawn much more into question now in a lot of people's heads and it's a very dangerous kind of narrative that's out in the press. We've just got to get out there and start talking to people about how bad this is through all our different organisations, through the Gurdwara, through the mosques, through the churches and through all the other community organisations to raise the awareness of it and then start focusing that on the local authority to tell them to start building again. I'm uh, frustrated with how people can buy housing as investment uh, in Singapore. Um, we live on the edge of Notting Hill. We moved in when it was a slum and um, it, it, there was lots of uh, families and they've all disappeared. It's very hard to keep a community going. How can we stop that happening? How can we stop people in Singapore buying houses as investments? But the big question is why is planning being used as a weapon against anybody who try to sort themselves out, like Dale Farm? Don't think the threat of taking your kids away has gone away. Legally and formally it has, but I tell you we get too many families coming to see us saying actually they hinted that the kids would be taken to care. And in Britain, all I want to say is one massive revolution to wipe all this lot down. Because the poor suffer every time. It's all well and good us sitting in this room and watching a Ken Loach film and organising a film club. And of course it's great that we do that because it raises people's awareness. But it means nothing if practically what we do is sit around and discuss a Ken Loach film and say, wouldn't it be great if there were more council houses and then all go on. What practically are we actually going to do going out of this meeting to build solidarity with these people who are getting kicked out of their houses? And what we want to do is start putting pressure now on the council about their use of abusive landlords and slum landlords as well. London is being cleansed. One thing we didn't talk about today is that families are being moved out of London because they can't afford the rent, so no rent control. So families are being moved out. So people with, are being sent to Walsall, the West Midlands, to Stoke, to Liverpool, across the country with young children where they have no family, no infrastructure. The problem is we need to take the market out of housing and uh, both parties are committed to market economy. It's the market economy that's destroying it.